Hello gamers, geese and gays, my name is Stokes and welcome to Amnesia the Dark Descent. I was going to say Soma then because I've been playing Soma for the past week. This game, I think we can agree, started the current kind of movement of survival horror games. And unfortunately I've never played it before. So I have been coerced. I have been persuaded to play this game for your guys' entertainment. I'm not very good with horror, I'm a massive scaredy cat. And I have no idea what's in store for me. This is completely blind, I don't know what's around the corner, other than I vaguely know what the monster looks like. And... That's it, that's all I know. And I've read the Steam description, so I know we're in a castle, I know it's the 1800s. Fantastic. So without further ado, what we're going to do, we're going to just jump straight into the game and hope for the best. I know there's a bunch of custom stuff you can do with this game. Some of the fan-made stories I have heard are fantastic. So we are going to go back and revisit some of them after we've played through the Amnesia series. I'm going to do a full Let's Play of Dark Descent. Justine, Machine for Pigs, Rebirth, and then Bunker. Ah, and then we're going to come back and we're going to do the custom stories. So, if that's your kind of thing, feel free to hit the follow button, the subscribe button, whichever platform you're watching me on, and we'll go through this step by step together and cry the whole way. Without further ado, new game. So, the way the game is designed to be played, or enemies will spot you more easily, tinderboxes and oil are hard to come by, or save is disabled, and saving your game costs tinderboxes. Losing sanity will kill you. Well, if it's the way the game's meant to be played, we're going to go and do that. I'm a strong believer of trying that the first time you play a game, so you gain the experience. And because I am a bit of a wuss. You forget. Some things must be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... Is... I am Daniel. Something tells me we are, in fact, going to forget. I think I might be Daniel. Now that I think of it, I'm not too sure. Oh, a memento has been added to your journal. For quick access to your mementos, press M. Make sure to check these out whenever you get stuck. Okie dokie. Oh my god, this is just giving me oblivion vibes all over. Am I just gonna. Can I get my magic out and miss Ward? Man, I'm so excited for the next Elder Scrolls. Whatever it is that that's gonna finally get here. Ooh. So it's exactly the same control scheme as Soma. Okay, so I know how to do that. That did not look like a tinderbox. I should know. I was in the Boy Scouts. Can I pick the lamp up? It looks like it would be... Oh, important. Oh my god, I can throw chairs far. I am so strong. And I've still got... Okay, I can still lean. I know exactly what I'm doing. So far, not so bad. I mean, I can't tell what this liquid is that's on the floor. And why is the castle falling down? Oh, 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 Daniel, steady now, boy. Oh my God. Daniel lives in London and he's been on a night out in the town. That's what I'm gathering from this. Beg your pardon? <laughs> I'm 
just a windy house? Maybe? Oh, another tinderbox. I wonder when did tinderboxes start being like... I don't know. Or have they been square? Am I just imagining it? I don't really think I can even picture what a tinderbox looks like in my head. Right, so we've got tab... Which is my inventory. So they're used to light other light sources in the environment. Current number of tinderboxes shown there. So we have two. Sanity. Crystal clear. Health. All is good. Journal. Okay, do we have anything in the journal? I, I suppose we should probably look through this before we get any further into the game. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. Okie dokie. Maybe it is a trail of source. No, what? Made the door go whoosh. I don't know. Why am I leaning? Is Daniel okay? I don't think he's okay. I think Daniel needs immediate medical assistance. I don't know what that is, but that's just such a common occurrence in England. Like, I don't know if they have it else around the world, because we've got, like, a lot of... Oh, that's thunder, I hope. Because we've got, like, a lot of medieval culture here. Most places you go, there's some kind of old text behind a glass box, and... You know, that's what they call a museum. Oh, I've got loads of tinder boxes. I'm Harry Potter! Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. How do I... Hold down R to rotate. Ah! Da, da. Ooh. I'm going to. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bit weird. That's Harry Potter upstairs. I am sorry, what? I just heard footsteps. Why is everything moving? What? Daniel? A... a Looks like some trash to place. Hello? I'm not going to go there first. Hmm. Nothing in here. How's my sanity doing? Because I feel like surely I've got a slight headache now. Okay, that that sounds reasonable. I keep hearing so many things. Since I started playing How do I use a tinderbox? Or can I just... Ah! Okay. Oh. Little bit... Little bit stressed. Ever since I started playing Soma... Who? What? Why? So many noises. I keep hearing noises at home. That's the quick way of what I'm trying to say. I keep walking around the house and thinking I'm hearing people saying my name. And I think I'm just losing the plot slightly. Yeah, yeah, get it. It's windy. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought, and struck his victim with a rock.
Can't tell if that's that. Okay. Right, anyway, what I was trying to say, I can't tell if the noise I'm hearing are Daniel making kind of grunting noises. Or if there's something else. Ah! If there's something else going on, can, can I go in there safely? Or the, are, the, are the bugs there or are the bugs not there? I, I kind of need to know this information before I go in the water. Hey, we're going to go with they are not there. God, it's just relentless. Got a bit of a. Bit of a hole in your ceiling there, Sunny Jim. They don't have very many good uh, roofers in London. I mean, I'm guessing we're not currently in London. I think that'd be a bit of a silly presumption. Can we just shut a freaking window? As the Germans would say, it's sehr windig. Also, forgive me if you're German and I completely just butchered your language, but... Deal with it. <gasps> a whole chest for a tinderbox. Surely a tinderbox can be used more than once. When filled with oil, it can be turned on. Oh my god, this is homely. It is giving me very... Uh, I, I keep going back to Elder Scrolls 4, but that's because it's the only game that I can kind of remember. I can remember other games, by the way, don't worry. I'm not that silly. Right, let's, let's light that, because we have plenty of the old tinder boxes. Anybody home? I sure hope not. I said I sure hope not. I said I sure hope not. Okay. Just like that. Just get a little bit of stuff going. Ooh. Can I just stay here? Can I just change it to just half an hour of bonfire ambiance? And it's just this. Turn the music all the way down, you know, and just... I don't think that's going to work for... Oh, another broom! Harry Potter does live here. And a rug. Is there anything to read? I should probably keep an eye out for things because I very, very nearly walked past that um, lantern. I'm forgetting things. Oh, that's a good sign, isn't it? Very nearly forgot to pick up the lantern because I just didn't see it. And I think we can all agree that would have been an absolute disaster. Okay, what we got here? We've got oil. The lantern drains oil when it's turned on to add more oil to the lantern. Double click on the oil item in the inventory. Here we go. August 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. 
It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. I have so many questions. So many questions. So we 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 forgot, but why? Ooh. Oh my god, a secret entrance. That's dope. I hope that restored my sanity, because if I saw a secret entrance, I'd be like, oh my god, that's so cool. I want five. It did not, in fact, increase my sanity. We're still just as headachy as before. Big gone. Fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought, just like the ones at the consulate in Constantinople. Imagine going to the consulate in... Why are you telling me I can run? I'm going to, in fact, not run. And I'm going to take it nice and steady. Shh. Oh, oh, Alexander, oh. is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Any guy who lives in a castle and has an inner sanctum is probably not worth trusting. Unless I get an inner sanctum in a castle, in which case, trust me, I'll be, I'll be so cool. Ooh. Also, don't mind me, I just, I like exploring in these kind of games. I just, oh my god, I am so strong, I can just... <laughs> uh, I was expecting that to be a little bit more, um, there's obviously nothing, nothing in that. Oh, speaking of looking everywhere. Hey! Oh my god, we've got what? We've got six tinder boxes, we've got loads of oil. There's no way to check my oil level by the looks of it. So I'm presuming we just kind of have to keep an eye out. So we've got the lab down here. Do I want to go to the lab? Is there a particular place I need to go? Oh, I don't know if I want to go in there yet. I feel like it's trying to get me to go down the main... Stop being drafty. Okay, maybe it does want me to go this way. Hello? Lady? I heard woman. Are you in need of assistance? I mean, the wine cellar is always a good place to start. If there's anything that horrible, I could just drink myself to death. It's locked and will not open without a key. Ah, that explains it. I don't really want to go to a laboratory in a creepy old castle. It's it's, it's not the vibe. It's, oh, it's open. Travelling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect of family. So we're from Canterbury. Funky noises? Okay. Is there anyone down here that I should perhaps 
be concerned about other than the wind. So if there is, just no, I no, I was gonna say I know Kung Fu, but that's just a massive fib. It's just the wind. It's just the wind. It's all it is. Are those bugs? Please tell me that's bugs I can hear. Can the game just stop with the sound effects for just three seconds? Oh boy, I'm getting through those so quick. I can't tell what I'm hearing this real and what I'm hearing that is just me absolute Shh. I'm trying to I'm, I'm I'm trying to explain my thoughts. I'm not getting a second to think. This is just relentless. The lack of a chimney's probably vent the fumes of my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some have been unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. But we need a key to get to the wine cellar. We... Okay, so I can press N. Find the key to the wine cellar. Chemical ingredients we move from the laboratory to the wine cellar. Why do I need chemical ingredients? I am not a chemist. Hello? Yeah, maybe we're making a bomb. Oh, no, we're having a flashback. So, there should be more Kubrak. Let me see, let me see. And one part aquifers. Am I going to be doing some chemistry? Because I'm not a qualified chemist. I flunked my A level chemistry. Which I don't know if there's like an American equivalent of A levels. But, or, or like European equivalent, but A levels is like what we call college. What do they call it in? What do they call it in America? What do they call college in America? I can never remember. But in 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 the UK, you have like primary school, secondary school, college. Then you go to university, which is college in America because you're all a bit strange. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae, 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 we'll call it vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I am close. Calamine and orpiment are given, and the cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis, in hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest of care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. What's your predicament, Daniel? Or is this the other guy? Is this Alexander? Why is... Why is everything going weird? Ooh. One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I'm able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them, their lust for power without restraint. Where I only crave fair judgement and a safe return. Okay. Can I not take that? Okay, so I can't seem to actually take that yet. So I don't know if we're going to have to come back for that or not. God, this place is a bit freaky. 
So I need to find the key to the lab, uh, not the lab, to the wine cellar. And then we can do a little bit of Harry Potter magic and make a potion. I don't know what the potion's for. We'll find out eventually, hopefully, maybe, possibly. He fell to the kitchen floor. The tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received his first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. Punished by whom? Is this a case of the, the dad issues? Fabrica Eliquatoria. Why is everything in like dog Latin? Is that why I need the corrosive? Some sort of organic tissue blocks a path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? I'm smart. Evidence in the laboratory has revealed that combining four chemicals can create a powerful acid, but they have been moved from the lab to the wine cellar, so we need to find the key to the wine cellar. It's tough and pliant. It can't be torn by hand or tools. Okay. So where, pray tell, would you hide a key? No, my look, the key is probably in... Maybe in there, because it's all boarded up. Or it's back in the lab where we've just been, and I'm just blind as a bat. Lots of these doorways that are just completely blocked off and inaccessible. Nah, if it's boarded up, I'm going to leave it boarded up for a good reason. I don't want to go unlocking things in a creepy castle that I don't know what's down there. The door slams shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. I prefer the castle bit. Huh. Let's have a bit of a rummage. Oh, law. Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Now this is the first time that we played the Dark Descent, but once on stream I did a one-off of Rebirth uh, because I believe it came on Epic Games free and I did like a little one-off just to say, hey, this game's free. Isn't that set in Algeria? And there's a lot of like mother figure carvings, statues, like we only played like the first hour and a half, if that. That was Algeria, wasn't it? It is all connected, which I, which I know should be fairly obvious, but I just got the impression somehow that maybe it wasn't going to be all connected, that it was going to be like separate stories with a similar kind of vibe. Santa! No. There's no Santa here. If there is a Santa here, he is no longer here. Okay. There's somebody above us. So you can be sure as hell. 
I'm not going upstairs anytime soon. Okay. okay. I don't quite know why I'm getting the heartbeats. To be honest, don't think I really want to know. Am I just making too much noise? Is there something in here to actually be scared of? Shh. Oh boy. I'm gonna I'm gonna pray that it's just someone upstairs. I, I think it's just whoever's upstairs. Okay. Yeah, okay, so it's just someone walking around upstairs. Okay, I'm fine. Just trying to be too loud. How about that? Cool. Well, let's have a bit of a rummage while we're down here. And try and put off going upstairs. Oof. More loot. Wilhelm's contract. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander Baron of Brennenberg is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm, House of Gerich. Okay. Well, to be fair, I think this is partly because I'm just in a dark room. It just didn't look particularly dark to me. Left, right, left, right, left. Ooh. Go this way. Oh, is that some. Oh, it's not oil, it's a bloody. thing. Who's doing a creaking? Creaky baby. Anything in there I should be worried about? I'll leave it for now. Maybe it is Sansa. Lots of shirts. Not very much of anything else to wear. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Well, obviously you weren't trapped for too long, Daniel, because you did get out and you remembered to, you know, write about it. I love the Lovecraft vibes, um, even down to, like, the diary entries. It's very much, if you've read any of Lovecraft's works, it's very much in that kind of style where it's a guy writing, you know, like a memento of something horrible that happened. Oh, I thought it was a picky uppy. Looked very picky upable. Can we stop? It's almost like this geezer knows that I'm underneath him somewhere. Oh, hell no. Hell no. 
I'm not going in there, not yet. Deep Breather Terrors? I don't... Huh! Who's playing the piano? Do I need this book? I don't need this book. What's in here? And nothing? Oh, it looked like an openable. Oh, speaking of openable, are you openable? <laughs> cool, okay. Making progress, guys. Making all the progress. The progress ever. I don't really want to go near that hole. Won't open, it's locked, okay. Historia Lucai. Uh, Told into the local history museum. Local history room is locked. Is there another entrance? Perhaps there is. Maybe it's the roof hole. Uh, before we go to the roof hole, let's double back. Because there's definitely another way we could go. We'll go around this way, see what's in here. Okay, we're just just back in here. That's okay. Who? What? Where? When? Why? Who growled? Don't like that at all. That's blood. That's who's bleeding? We'll be doing a bleeding in here. Oh, no, 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 oh. oil, oil, oh. okay, we're okay, we're all good, I've got four tinder boxes left, let's use some oil, I feel like we've got plenty of oil to go through. Ooh. Ooh. More paper, loads of paper, ah, oh, crap, uh, hey, cool. Uh, tabulae. Is that here or is that behind me? Oh, sh sugar. Well, I guess there's no turning back now, is there? Unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Shiny. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Palantir? I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and in possible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Not more music. Well, that's all very 
very interesting stuff, Daniel. That was definitely a Palantir, right? That wasn't just me seeing stuff. Kingdom of Prussia. Central Prussia. Ah, we're in Prussia. Fantastic. Very nice.